Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love and who you might be dealing with. What are you thinking about each other? Keep in mind that this reading is general. It's for the Scorpio Collective, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. Spirit angels, guides for Scorpio. So I just saw the Wheel of Fortune. What's going on for Scorpio? Yeah, look at that. Regarding love, what do they need to know regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know for Scorpio? see what we have for you Scorpio mutual energies between you okay we have the nine of swords and the eight of wands on your side we have the moon Pisces energy and the five of wands okay on their side we have the ace of Pentacles Wow and the Emperor Aries energy overall Energy at the bottom of the deck, the reason why all of this is happening. Wow, the Knight of Cups. This could be an apology. This could be them expressing how they feel to you. We'll have to see when we clarify. But first, let's get some energies out here. Wow, the Ace of Wands after that. Spirit, what's the overall energy here for Scorpio? Something's coming in with the Eight of Wands and quick. This could be quick communication, like a text, quick call with the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. But someone's anxious, someone's nervous here with the Nine of Swords. Judgment call, decision, knowledge, logic. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. Someone is making a judgment call here. Now, bottom of the deck is paralyzing fear, so Yes, they're making a judgment call, but I feel like they're terrified about that. <laughs> and the Knight of Swords is definitely a card about fear. Okay, so I'm using two new Oracle decks. This is the Ever After Oracle deck. And over here, I have the PS I Love You deck. I'm still doing a little bit of tweaking on these decks. They're not available just yet, but I will be selling these on my Etsy shop. I'll let you all know when they become available there. All right, so let's see. What's the overall energy here for Scorpio? Celebration, a new chapter. Okay, love seeing that. What else for Scorpio? What else do we need to know about the energies between this person and Scorpio? A magic wand. I keep getting the magic wand card for everybody. Transformation, hope, solutions. This could be what someone's hoping for. This could be what's ahead. You know, a new chapter where there's hope, solutions, transformation. Bottom of the deck, we have sad goodbye, distance, endings, separation. So you could have already separated from this person. Maybe you had a sad goodbye, some sort of ending between you or distance. So let's get some clarity out here. I'm going to start with this Knight of Cups because that's the reason why all of this is happening. Why, you know, the energy is changing here. The why. For Scorpio, please. What do I need to know for Scorpio? What can you tell me about this Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? We have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone was holding back what they wanted to say here. Let me just organize this a little bit more. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups. What else? What else do we need to know about the Knight of Cups? The Three of Swords. Oh yeah, so when I see the Three of Swords with the Knight of Cups, I instantly think apology. Almost like I'm sorry for the hurt that I've caused. I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused. Um, I'm heartbroken. These are my, you know, I'm pouring out my heart to you. I feel like someone, um, yeah, there's the lovers, Gemini energy at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone feels bad, but has also been holding this in with the four of pentacles. 
They could be holding on to this connection despite the fact that there has been a separation or an ending. And these are both of your energies here, Scorpio. So take that as it resonates. Have a mix of your energy, their energy, both of your energies are intermixed here. So this could be you feeling this way and wanting to apologize or this person. Wow, the tower. What in the world happened here? Two of cups, the tower, eight of wands, and the two of wands. Oh yeah, something happened between you and this person. A tower erupted and there was a sad goodbye here. And now the eight of wands has shown up again. So I feel like the eight of wands is important. Let's see, why is the eight of wands here? For Scorpio. Why is the eight of wands here? Eight of wands, please, for Scorpio. The lovers. I feel like someone wants to talk about your connection or there's some sort of action being taken here. Why do I keep dropping a bunch of cards? Two of Pentacles, okay, similar to that Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. So this is not going to be an easy conversation. I almost feel like someone's trying to like reach through like a wall. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Um, to me, they're like the responsible type that are usually already attached or providing for some family or someone. But let's just say that this is just someone that's exhibiting the uh, characteristics of a king of pentacles, you know, someone very stable, dependable. Um, they typically have good jobs, business oriented, family oriented, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like this is somebody that wants to talk about the partnership between you or this soulmate connection or something to do with both of you. Now the two of pentacles is here. So sometimes when I see the two of pentacles with the lovers, I think of the original meaning of the lovers, which is a decision. The lovers is really a card about deciding between what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you, right? It's a duality there. You have to choose one or the other. So I feel like someone here is to, trying to decide whether to follow their heart is kind of what it looks like. But I think this is more about communicating um, about your connection. And it's not an easy conversation with the Nine of Wands or the Seven of Wands. Like I'm getting like um, a bit of a guarded energy. Like, you know, not easy to talk to someone about this or there's like a guard up. Why is the Nine of Swords here? God, this deck, I always want to like pick like five cards. The High Priestess. Okay, so Nine of Swords. Can I get one more? The High Priestess is about like secret knowledge. What's not expressed. Nine of Pentacles. Listening to your intuition as well with the High Priestess. But when I see it with the Nine of Swords, it's like someone's worried about what's not being communicated. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. There's something here about communication, Scorpio. I mean, it's all over this reading. Knight of Cups as well. Um, but I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles for me, um, and really if you look at the traditional meanings of the tarot, these two are kind of... Um, there's, there's a big difference in these two. The Nine of Pentacles is unattached. Ten of Pentacles is about like generational security, right? Like there's family um, commitments, long-term security, long-term stability. The In the original card, there's like three generations. The Nine of Pentacles is alone, right? The Nine of Pentacles is independent. They don't have any attachments. They're very successful, but they're missing that family aspect, that, that partnership aspect. So, you know, for me, they are very different. I think that there's like, I don't know, two very different ways that this could go for someone. Especially with the Nine of Swords. Someone could be worried about, you know, like for example, um, I'm talking to someone I'm really interested, but I don't know if they're truly single, right? Are they independent or are they attached? Or this could be somebody thinking, I'm single, but I wanna have that long-term stability. Will that ever happen for me? I see that there. You know, there's many ways to interpret this. 
Um, I'm going to go in here. I'm actually going to separate these energies here. And I'm just going to look at these three that have to do with communication, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. And I'm just going to ask what this is about specifically. Can I get some insight, some clarity spirit on the Knight of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords? What do we need to know here? What do we need to know about the Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords? Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. I feel like someone's going to communicate from the heart with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a good listener, compassionate, loving. Um, the person that you love, right? There's like emotions there. And the Eight of Cups is about a departure, walking away, leaving. I feel like you're going to talk about whoever wants to open up the communication here. I think it's your person, but whoever wants to open up the communication here, they want to talk about what has already happened, which makes sense because the Three of Swords was here. But it's not an easy conversation to have because something happened in the past that was not fun. It was not fun for someone. Someone's scared. Yeah, look at this. Paralyzing fear, walking away, parting ways, a separation. Someone walked away from this connection in the past and they're like scared to come back in or scared to address it. Something about the past is significant. All right, so let's look at your individual energies. I have you on the left, Scorpio, and I have your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more because they can be interchangeable. Let's start with you. You have the moon. So right away, you're like in the dark about something, unclear about something, unsure about something. Okay, tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? The Three of Cups. Why is the moon here? The King of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck, the hangman. So when I see the Three of Cups, I instantly thought like, will we come together? What is there a third party? Do I, do I know everything? Am I in the dark about something? Um, I feel like there could be an interference in terms of another person here. Okay, there's the higher font. Tell me about the Five of Wands. There could have been some sort of conflict and I feel like you're in the dark or you're just, you don't have the clarity about where you stand with this person, Scorpio. Maybe, yeah, justice. Will this be made right? Libra energy there. Will the conflict be addressed? The star, Aquarius energy. So when I see the star and justice, I think of making something right. There's the King of Swords. I feel like you're wondering if you and this individual will be able to move past what, what has happened already. Will you be able to fix it, make that right? Will the problem be resolved? If there was an interference, has that been taken care of? Because I feel like that's the only way to really move past this. Tell me about the moon and the five of wands. Yeah, the ace of pentacles. So you're expecting an offer from this person as a way to kind of mend and um, come together here signed doesn't have to be i think that king of wands is more like will this person take that action that i'm expecting because the emperor is somebody that would take action okay if my cards could stay in my hand that'd be great the emperor is somebody that takes action they are go-getters they bring a situation under control they like it a certain way um, they're very decisive the emperor is not somebody that's wishy-washy so let's see, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor. About the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. The Knight of Pentacles, oh yeah, there's definitely a offer here. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Four of Wands. Cool. So I think you're hoping from this person is what they're hoping to deliver here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, so they're working on fulfilling this making this happen wow there's a tower hmm. this is fascinating so i feel like what you're if you're worried that this person is not putting an effort in like i feel like they are i feel like their offer is slow 
because it's the Knight of Pentacles or the slowest knight. But the Eight of Pentacles with the Emperor, that's a really good energy to have because that means that it's an Emperor that knows what they want but is actively working on how to get it, right? So let's get some PS I love you here between you and this person. Now keep in mind that even though I asked for your energy, their energy could show up and it could be interchangeable. So take it as it resonates, okay? Tell me about Scorpio's energies towards this other person. What do we need to know about Scorpio's energies? I compare everyone I meet to you. Okay. So this person to you is irreplaceable. You haven't been able to find anybody like them. Okay, what else? What else? How does Scorpio think, feel regarding this other person? Past connection. So this is someone from the past. You already have a connection from the past. And um, yeah, you're looking back. So you're definitely thinking about this past connection where there was an ending. And you haven't been able to find anybody close to this person, like, you know, who they were to you or what type of connection you had. You haven't been able to replicate that. Okay, tell me about Scorpio's energies towards this person. I mean, <laughs> tell me about this other person's energies towards Scorpio. Sorry. Tell me about this other person's energies towards Scorpio spirit. What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Scorpio? Our connection is divinely guided. So they feel there's a special connection here. What are they thinking, feeling about Scorpio? What are they thinking, feeling about Scorpio? Even though we are apart, our souls are united. So they still feel a strong connection, even though you're not together. Bottom of the deck, I dream of a future with you. So yeah, I feel this is somebody that even though you're not together right now, that's the plan. A judgment call is necessary here. A new chapter is possible. There's hope here for a transformation, for a new opportunity, for a new exciting beginning. It's going to start with this Knight of Cups, though. So there needs to be, you know, the past needs to be dealt with. Because I feel like the past was heartbreaking for both of you. One of you hurt the other. You both hurt each other. It doesn't really matter. What matters is how do you move past that? That's the hurdle here. And someone is not able to let go. You know, it's like this. there's something about this connection that... They haven't been able to let go. They still dream that of a future with you, but I feel like they're working on it. It's just going to start with communication here. Someone needs to overcome their fear. They need to overcome this guarded energy that you might have towards them or some sort of obstacle, you know, like if it's distance, for example, that needs to be addressed, right? Like it's, it's not going to happen by on its own, right? Without any sort of action. But I do feel like the fact that they're showing up as an emperor is a good sign. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully this reading resonated for you. If it did, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, don't forget to leave a like <laughs> before you leave if I could speak. Um, thank you so much for all of your support. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you on another video very soon.